I'm Big Will Evanson, and it's time to talk sports. Another action-packed night of sports on the Western Slope, and the CMU Mavs women's soccer team had a huge top 15 battle on their home field. And we take you out to Unity Field where it was a dark and stormy night as the Mavericks took on the Ore Diggers and it did not start well for the Mavs as Colorado Mine scores early here off the header to take a 1-0 lead in the first half. And look, Ma Mav keeper Keely Weisherek had some great saves to fire up this team. Here's a great job diving full extension, getting to the corner to knock it away and Nice job here, aggressively getting to the ball, but soccer involves a lot more than just one player. And things went from bad to worse here as Ordiggers forward. Reese McDermott slips by the defense and puts it home to make it two to nothing. And now it's Bella Campos who outpaces the defense. Heading towards goal, she fakes out Weisharek on her way to putting it in the back of the net. And this was not the game the Mavericks wanted as they are shut out by 14th ranked Colorado Mines 4 to nothing in a game that has truly left everybody shocked. But the Mavs will play their next game this Sunday at 2.30 p.m. against Regis. But now we head to the volleyball court where it is the final game of the season for the Grand Junction Tigers and the students were pumped for this one. The visiting Montezuma Cortez drew first blood, winning set one. But here in set two, the Tigers were determined. Seattle Ludlam delivers the kill here to put GJ up 15 to five. And off the dig from the Panthers, Avery Wagner stands tall for the block as the Tigers lead by 11. And Wagner is there again like a brick wall in front of the net to put GJ up 18 to six. And Montezuma Cortez isn't going away as Tessa Jackson Hits it over and gets the kill to cut the Tigers lead to 22-11. The Panthers get an ace now off a nice hit from Kiskali Beckman to make it 21-13. And Beckman does it again. Another ace for Cortez as they cut it to 21-15. And these Panthers just refusing to go down as Jackson gets a heck of a block for the Panthers to make it five in a row and 21-17 the score. But the set attempt from Montezuma Cortez goes out to give the Tigers the 23-18 lead and GJ can almost taste the set win now. Avery Wagner slams it down hard to give GJ set point and they can close it out with a soft easy kill by Taylor Beagle and the GJ faithful loves it as the Tigers even this one up and Grand Junction kept on rolling and they end their season on a high note and get the three to one win over the Panthers of Montezuma Cortez. So while it wasn't a banner year for the Tigers, it's a big win to get confidence for the future of this team. And the Tigers were also on the soccer pitch tonight for a huge playoff game over in Windsor. The Grand Junction season has come to an end with the two to one loss to the Wizards, a disappointing end, but truly a great season for the Tigers as they were the only school from the Valley to make it to the postseason and in Glenwood Springs the Demons got the win over the Red Hawks to move on to the second round of the playoffs and it was a big offensive explosion for Glenwood Springs putting five in the back of the net in this one. Next up the Demons will take on Steve Moat Springs who has outscored them seven to nothing in the two games they faced off this season. That match is set for Wednesday and to the ice boy the Avs finally look human as they suffer their first loss of the year on the road in Pittsburgh and simply this was just not Colorado's night as they are shut out four to nothing. The good news is at six and one the Avs still sit atop the Central Division. Colorado will look to extend their lead in the standing Sunday when they're in Buffalo to take on the Sabres and speaking of Buffalo that one has just gotten final from Orchard Park as the Bills get the 24 to 18 win over the Buccaneers. The Bucs had a final chance on a Hail Mary but the Bills knocked it away as they get to five and three and look to keep pace with Miami in the AFC East. What a marvelous night of action on the Western Slope and across the country. But that's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Levinson.